I have been asked to reflect on my composing process twice during my experiences in higher education. In one piece, I focused on my writing composing process. I detailed the narrative of a little black book and spent six pages rambling on about the concept of a process, only to conclude by stating that I don't truly have a writing process. It ebbs and flows with each new writing task, with even the constants of the process changing as quickly as the assignments themselves. In the second piece, I created a video that visually represented my digital composing process. It was messy. Scattered footage of random bursts of inspiration, weary eyes staring at a MacBook, frequent trips to Chipotle, hours of procrastination, and a lot of tea. Drafting my written composing process, or lack thereof, came easy to me. The words flew onto the page without thought. I had been writing since kindergarten, some good, some bad, but all still part of a composing process. Although that process rarely looked the same, I still felt confident in my ability to reflect on my approaches to written composition. But when it came to my digital composing process, I was at a loss. Did I have a digital composing process? Was I even fluent enough in creating digital pieces to have a process? What would this process even look like? So, as any confused college student would do, I turned to YouTube. I scoured the site for videos on digital composition, digital composing, media composition, you name it. As you can imagine, the results were endless. There was a community of people actively sharing their composing process in a digital space, engaging with new tools, networking with a range of skilled composers, and revising their own processes. These users are just one of many examples of Sarah Arroyo's theory on participatory composition. Arroyo frames her arguments on participatory composition through the theory of electricity from Gregory Ulmer. Electricity, according to Ulmer, is to digital media what literacy is to alphabetic writing. Although electricity can be compared to digital literacy, it is not something shut on and off with the power buttons on computers or mobile devices. Rather, electricity encompasses the cultural, institutional, pedagogical, and ideological implications inherent in the transition from a culture of print literacy to a culture saturated with electronic media, regardless of the presence of actual machines. Video culture is the manifestation of Ulmer's predictions of electricity because online video is becoming the prototypical experience of the internet and the culture it cultivates is both growing and already permeating the institutions of our daily lives. The participatory nature of digital spaces allows for the new ways of approaching composition and advocates for an environment where we will stop thinking of theory and practice as necessarily separate and instead see them as working side by side to invoke those inventions that have yet to be thought. My digital composing process was shaped by the methods of participatory composition invoked by online video culture. It was through interacting with this network of other composers and engaging with their work that I was able to compose myself and hopefully inspire the same in others.